Hello guys and welcome back to She's Diabetic. For those of you who are new here, my name is Andrea and I have been a type 1 diabetic for over 18 years and this is just a channel all about that. So for those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome on back. Thanks for coming back. So today I thought I would do a day in the life self-isolation style with type 1 diabetes. As we all know, and on a more serious note, right now the world is dealing with the pandemic that is COVID-19, and I think probably most of you have found yourself in a self-isolation state. I live in London, and we officially went on lockdown a couple days ago, so now it's well and truly stay inside, save lives, and that is what I'm doing. You probably will have already seen this morning, I did a blood sugar check, and then I meditated and did my gratitude journal, two things that are just real anchors to start my day that I find really, really helpful to keep this in check. And as a result, blood sugars, body, everything else in check. The two, as I always say, are inextricably linked. So for me, when I have that sort of peace of mind, zen, positive act, attitude sort of thing, it more often than not follows on with good numbers. Not always though, but sometimes. <laughs> so I did that this morning, I did a bit of work, made contact with a few people that I'm just trying to check in with daily, and now lunchtime is rolled around. So I'm definitely gonna do this soup. This is a tomato and basil soup. It is with red peppers and miso, it's FODMAP friendly. It is vegan and gluten-free. I like it a lot. So I get this at Whole Foods in case you guys are interested. In terms of the carb count of this soup, it's pretty darn low. 4.4 per 100 grams. So six times four, 24, it's 4.4. So let's call it 26 grams of carbohydrate in this. So right now I'm 165. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a bolus on board for this while I heat this up and maybe end up adding a few side bits to eat. Uh, but I'll start with that and see where I'm at. And of course I'll show you when I end up eating because you know, obviously, day in the life, eating is the most exciting part right now. No, I'm not kidding, but sort of kidding, <laughs> but not really. <laughs> mention while I'm waiting for that to heat up I'm gonna bust out 50 jumping jacks because I'm not moving as much as I normally would and because my blood sugar is a little bit elevated in order to kind of blunt that rise as I'm waiting for that to heat up and I've got the pre bolus on board I'm just gonna bust out 50 jumping jacks to get that insulin moving in my body and to ensure I don't have a climb because I'm slightly concerned that's what's gonna happen if I don't do that so here we go So this is gonna be my lunch. I've got the soup here, then I got some carrots out. I had some of those in the fridge I wanna eat up. And then I've got these karma bites, which are popped uh, lotus seeds. They're actually really delicious. And one bag of these has 17 grams of carbohydrate. And I bolused a bit more for these guys. I bolused for the 17 grams of carbohydrate there, and then for the carrots too. So all in all, I bolused for 48 grams of carbohydrate and that's what I have on board right now. So let's see. All right guys, it's been a little bit since lunch. Let's have a little blood sugar check. I am 146, side arrow going up. I need to get up and move around. I've been talking to a bunch of people on the phone. I FaceTimed with somebody. So good stuff, but I need to get my body moving. And one of my favorite things to do during isolation is to um, clean. So I was thinking about going through this cupboard and like cleaning it out completely. I'm talking like cleaning the cupboard, cleaning the insides, cleaning the contents. I'm, I mean, I mean, I mean, some might say I'm losing my mind, but it just makes me feel good, okay? And call me Monica, which that I am, 
Um, but that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to clean out this cupboard. So uh, expect a time lapse coming your way right about now. fun you may not know about me is I am a huge tea lover. Look, tea, 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 tea. Very ripe banana, ready for banana bread making. Tea chest. This was a beautiful, beautiful gift from my boyfriend's mom, Karen. If you're watching Karen, hello. Um, full of tea. She knows how much I love tea and she gave it to me for my birthday last year and I just love tea. I love tea. So my fellow tea lovers out there, give me a holler. I also enjoy peanut butter, almond butter. I mean, you know, these are, the, these are fully the staples of life. Tea and nut butters. I love them. Okay, so pretty pleased about my organization here. I'm feeling pretty happy about that. That's what I just did there. And then food stuffs down here I organized. I think this quarantine is going to be very good for this house because I'm just going to just clean every nook and cranny. And I know it sounds a little bit ridiculous to be honest with you, but like it does make me, it does de-stress me. It makes me feel a little bit more in control and like I'm productive and doing something and yeah. I think I'm gonna go for a walk now. Should we go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. Okay guys, so hi. I'm all bundled up, ready for my walk. And I just thought I would do a little check-in and explain what I'm doing now blood sugar-wise for the walk. So right now I am 155 side arrow. So you can see my day has been sort of a tiny bit higher than I would like, although not terrible. What I might normally do for a walk is set a temporary basal for 30 minutes of 0%, but because I'm 155 and because I've had that sort of more stubborn rise that hasn't really come down since lunchtime, I am going to just take this walk as it is and see what it does to my blood sugar. But if I had to guess, I would say I'm going to see some sort of drop by like maybe 20, 30 points, but we'll see. <laughs> by the way, I'm just going out for a walk. I'll be social distancing from people. For the most part, streets are very quiet and the government has told us that, you know, we are allowed to go for one walk a day or one piece of exercise per day and just as long as we socially distance. So that's what I will be doing and I'll put my little scarf up to keep me warm and uh, safe and yeah, that's good. It was lovely. I think I'll have inserted a couple clips just as the sun was going down. It was really, really nice. And then I went to the grocery store on my way back home. So there was only a short line because there's social distancing in grocery stores. They're only letting a certain number of people in at a time. And that line was really short. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make use of it. So first of all, blood sugar check. I am 92. I'm 92 side arrow going down. So I think not doing temporary basal and just going straight in for the walk was the right choice. I thought I would show you a little bit of what I bought just in case you guys are interested. I've got some green beans, some dates. That's a really nice little sweet treat. Some bananas, a little bit of sushi, a veggie sushi that was just honestly a little treat. Some organic apples hummus. I have never had these before, but they just looked good. Honey, uh, rice and corn cakes. Yum. 
I got salads. I use usually one and a half bags to make this big salad, which I'm gonna make for dinner tonight, and I'll show you guys. Strawberries, meat-free sausages, sweet potatoes, and regular potatoes. I bake up the potatoes and then I put toppings on them, normally like beans and stuff, and yeah. So yeah, but right now I'm gonna make a salad with the, um, obviously in the salad and apple and I'll show you everything else that goes into it. And I'm also gonna have this because I'm really, really hungry. So I'm gonna have that and a big old salad. Okay, so um, as I was making this salad, I ended up eating four of the sushi rolls uh, because I was hungry. So before I mixed it up, I wanted to show you what I've got in the salad and it is a massive, massive salad. So I have got one whole apple chopped up, a handful of raisins, about half a little can of corn, sunflower seeds, a stalk of celery, and I think that is it. And then I will top it with this dressing, which is a mix of apple cider vinegar and maple syrup. And I just give that a shake and pop it on there. And I'm gonna be a happy gal. I'm gonna finish up those four rolls and I've got some tamari with it, with it which is gluten-free soy sauce. Can you tell that I'm hungry? So I bolused for all of that, I bolused 55 grams of carbohydrate and I'm, I'm ready to eat. So I'm gonna eat and I'll catch on the floopity flop. Hi guys. All right, so I've been just down here on the floor doing a little work, actually editing a bit. Oh, you'll see this in the vlog, actually, vlogception. But I'm feeling a little bit like I'm trending low. Well, I have been trending downward a bit post-dinner. It's been fine, but now I think, okay, I need to intervene because I'm feeling those like low symptoms. So right now I'm 88. You can see what happened post-dinner. I've like slid into that straight line, but I can feel my, my low symptoms. So remember those corn and rice honey cakes? I think I'm gonna have one or two of those. I'm gonna have one and see how sweet they are. Per cake, it's eight grams of carbohydrate. So I'm gonna have one and see how sweet they are and then I might have another one. Okay, are you ready for a live taste test? Well, live, you know what I mean. Callo Organic Honey Rice and Corn Cakes. Ooh, they're kind of sticky, shiny. Ooh, not too shabby. The smell is rather adequate. These will do just fine. And these will really do just fine. I give them out of 10, I said give them a seven. They're not too sweet, which is kind of nice. And I give them a 7.5. The crunch is a delight. Mm. I like them. I like them very much. I think tonight I'm gonna watch. Are you ready for this? I'll give you a hint. Well, I had the time of my life. Dirty dancing, did you guess it? Cause I just need a feel good delight. But I'll say goodnight to you now and I'll see you next time. I hope you guys are staying well, happy, healthy. I say it at the end of my videos always. I wish you wonderful blood sugars, straight CGM lines, perfect boluses, all the rest of it. But most of all, most importantly, I wish you a happy, healthy mind with it all. Stay happy, stay healthy. We're gonna get through this and I'm sending you loads of love and strength. Mm -hmm.